Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was glad when you said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And now we're going to have an opening selection by the choir. Remember not the sins of my youth, 
nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. I've read from Psalm 25, verses 1 through 10. May we receive a blessing and guidance as we read and study God's holy word. We'll now have a prayer from Deacon Daniel Keys. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come from St. Jill with no help. Thanking you for the many blessings you have upon us. Thanking you for coming down through 40 and two generations. Thanking you for standing right there with your arm wide open. Thanking you for hanging on the cross yeah. for our sins. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you for staying right there. And Father, we want to say thank you. Yeah. Give you the highest praise. Glory, hallelujah to your name. We go, we come. Sometimes we don't know what we do. But you know. Yeah. You know everything about us. You know when we love and when we hate. But this morning, we want to show love one to another. Go with our pastor, let him bring him the word. And it cut like a two headed sword going in here and out. Bless the deep and then stand on your holy right and word. Bold deep for your name. Bless the mother. Take the little one by the hand and show it the right direction as you go. <coughs> Let them wake up and say, yeah. Let them know they have a soul to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. You go out in the head of the highway, yeah. compel people to come here from their wicked ways. Give their life to Christ. So when you come back from the next cloud, they get up morning, you can say, Well done, well yeah. done. You've been faithful a few things now and make you go over a minute. Come on in. This is my prayer. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Christ, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
filled with praise on this morning because the Lord has been so good to us. Okay. Okay. And right now we're going to further the service where everybody can take a part. In. And that's in through and by your giving. Giving a portion of that which God has given to you back to the Lord. Because he's been so good and so kind and so merciful that he allow us to attain what we have for today. And now we're going to turn this part of the service over to you. You can be the trustee for the, and the usher of the choir for the morning offering.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your gifts and all your mm -hmm. blessings. Yes, Lord. And this morning, Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this offering mm -hmm. as we give it as a portion of the many blessings that you've given us. Mm -hmm. and we ask, Heavenly Father, that the fire that we use it to help build your kingdom. Yes. And in your name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank, we thank one, we thank all for your care, for your liberal giving. And God will bless you. And now we're going to prepare for word time. It's time for the gift from heaven. Because the man of God is sitting back waiting. It's to bring what God has given him to give to the people on today. And after this choir has given us another selection of their own choosing, the next voice that you will hear behind this sacred podium will be none other than our pastor, Elder Grace of Boston. Sing choir, preach pastor.
your own work and not of what you have, but God has the whole world in his hand. And we're all God. We can't do nothing. But those who are born again, watch through the blood of the Lamb, you have favor this morning. There was a song called Blessing by the Evaluation Group. I love it. It moves me each time I heard the song. And there was a line in this verse uh, of the song that kept my attention. The song said, May his favor be upon me. How many of y'all like that? Our word, Lord, is all about you and not about me. Lord, I don't know what the rest of the world decided to do, but I've made up my mind and I'm not going to turn around. Because I got saved. And I am part of the royal family. I am a child of the king. And when I think about that, the blood of the land. How many of y'all know about the blood? How many of y'all know that the blood will take you from darkness and bring you into the marvelous light? How many of y'all know that the blood will plant your feet on solid ground? I don't know about y'all, but I have faith in this blood. Preach, boss. Let me paint a picture of what I'm talking about, if you don't mind. There was a young woman who was sitting in a house. She is, was in a town called Nazareth. Her family was not rich, mother, but her family was poor. She didn't have what the Jones had. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say another lane. Look for the Boston team. <laughs> it is a forgotten place whose citizens are folks that couldn't find an opportunity to live. Uh-huh. And in those days, people say, can, can anything be good come out of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on faith. And they tell me there was a young lady named Mary. Somebody said, Mary, don't you meet? Tell Martha to come. And then one day God sent an 
Get your 
and your enemy will trouble you. Yes. 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 And they'll fall. Yes. You see, your enemy will sometimes will celebrate. Uh -huh. Because they thought they won the battle. Uh -huh. But we were going to win the war. Yes. See, the road is not going to be easy. No. And the road is not going to be hard. No. But Jesus said, yes. I know how much you can bear. Jesus said, Jesus asked you a question again. 
why you don't love me. But Lord, I'm doing everything that you tell me in the word, but yet you don't need love Bella Boston. Got quiet on me. Yet when you walk by Miss Lee, you just walk by, you don't even speak to her. But when you get in church, you'll speak to her. God knows who loves you. He said, how can you love those that what you don't see and can't love those that you see? Is that the word? Why are you even loving your immediate family before God? I don't care what name you hold in your family. I don't care if you're Boston. Boston can't save you. I'm so sick of this name stuff. Deacon Keys. Boston Keys. Change. Huh? Them names can't save us. Only the power of Jesus' name can save us. Somebody tell me there's power in the name of Jesus. There ain't no power in Boston. I love you, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee I love you with all my heart. You know why? Because I feel a little compassion right off. Ain't God a good church? God showed us favor yeah. when we express remorse over our sins. <clears throat> when guilt consumes us to the point of conviction, mm -hmm. when we confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in our heart that God was risen from the dead, you will be saved. God is quick to forgive you and show faith yes, he will. in us to eternal life, but you must be the cat to be baptized for the remission yes. of what sin. I heard somebody say the other day, they said that one thing we did, we made sure that our father was saved. He confessed and uh -huh, and all that, yeah, uh -huh. but I said, I'll listen for one more thing. I heard nothing about baptism. Be Foster. Don't give me what you think. I'm talking about the word of God. Huh? Why do you tell them the whole truth? No, why? Because they ain't know the whole truth. I ain't worried about my papa. I ain't worried about my mother. Because they guess the facts. What happened when the blood was really warm in that man? Don't you wait. <laughs> Don't you wait till you get on your deathbed to get saved. Huh? God give us a process to follow. If you do not follow that process, you cannot be saved. Amen. Point blank. See, some people saying, I'm going to wait until I get on my deathbed, then I'm going to get saved. You might even know what's going on on your deathbed. Amen. Come on now. Huh? Come on. But God showed favor on me. He showed favor to those who obey. Obedient to his holy word. That's what you, don't, you, don't you twist God's word. That's wrong. The devil is a twister. He the chief of liars. Amen. Hello, Boston. What are some benefits as you close of being favored by God? Favor produce supernatural increase and promotions. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. If he did it for him, he can do it for you. Favor produced restoration of everything that the enemy has stole from you. Do you know people have a nerve to try to steal from the church? <laughs> Oh, they got quiet on the mail. Oh, People have a destiny to try to steal from the church. Everything that you do for God is caught. Yeah, I'm going to bring the point. Yeah, I don't have no ownership of you in town. I'm just a shepherd yeah, ordered by God to preach and teach his word. Yeah, but everything that I do Amen. will be you credit to God, man. Well, my granddaddy, <laughs> they, they my granddaddy put a brick on this building, so he put our own. Well, he put our own. I'm gonna be a part of it. 
Because your granddaddy got that attitude and said that he part on him, he ain't gonna make it easy. He already lost. Because everything you do belongs belong to God. Amen. You want to worship God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. God giving and God will take away. Faith will produce honor in the midst of your adversary. Y'all know that? And the Lord gives the people favor in the sight of the Egyptian. Moreover, the man Moses who was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of what? God people. Because Moses was a what? A being. Huh? He gave you favor of God while you weren't about your enemy. Huh? How somebody? Man. Why you worry about your enemy when he said he'll make your enemy your what? Why you worry about him? God got him. Yes. You don't even got to pick up a finger. Yes. Say a prayer. Yes. <laughs> and watch and see what God do. Because God said to you, what? If you hurt my boy. Uh -huh. You may want to sink to the bottom of the ocean with a what? Yes. Yes. I think God is playing with that. No. If you hurt my little one, you may well see to the bottom of the ocean with a what? Because yes. God don't what? Victory is ours. Favor produced battle won, which you won't ever fight because God will fight them for you. Your skin. I laugh at ha ha ha. You ain't fighting against me. You fighting against the Lord. Amen. Who he think he is? You don't know you got told you who he think he is. Cause greater he that's in me. That he's in the what world. And you can't serve two masters at the same time. You the love one and hate the other. I love somebody. So why are you pumped up? You pumped up at Jesus, not me. <laughs> I'm going to laugh right at you all the way to, to me and all the way back where you're going from. All right. All right. Who do you think he is? Uh, I know who my Jesus is. He's my everything. Right. I know who my Jesus is. Yeah. He saw favor upon my life. As yeah. long as I live right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
give the Lord a hand clap.
but he's for sure to. That if you shall leave it today, and you should die, and your soul is not right, it would be nobody's fault but your own. And now we're going to turn this portion of the service over to the secretary for the announcement.